Hello Scorpio, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it and what actions you guys plan on taking each other's direction and or moving forward. Just keep in mind Scorpio, we are working with time and time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. Also too, we're working with energy, so you might find yourself resonating with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me, and that's okay since Sometimes that actually does happen so just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with but with all that being said Scorpio let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship how does Scorpio currently view okay all right Scorpio so we do have the um all right we have the two of wands we have the uh, three of swords and then we also have the um Queen of Cups. So you're 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 definitely walking a path that's very very scary and very very uncomfortable. Is like the best way that I can describe uh, what it is that I'm seeing here, and it's mainly because you feel very very vulnerable right now. Um, yeah, this path that you're walking right now, it has you feeling very, very vulnerable. And I don't necessarily feel like you like it, to be completely honest. You know, your heart is definitely in it when it comes down to this path that you're currently walking. And that's kind of scary. Um, and like I said, it does kind of make you feel very, very vulnerable. Um, yeah, it does kind of make you feel very, very vulnerable. Tell me more about the uh, Two of Wands. First work, yeah. You know, this path that you're currently walking, you don't like it. You don't like it. You don't like it. You know, there's an overall energy of you just kind of wanting to go back to like the old you, you know, um, is like the best way that I can describe what it is I'm seeing here. It's like you want to go back to just kind of focusing on you and your career, your growth, your expansion, your business, if you have one, um, you know, and just kind of focusing on you and the life that you want to manifest and create for yourself. You know, there is an overall energy of you kind of wanting, wanting to resort back to like, you know, this old version of you because this path that you're currently walking on, it's scary. It's making you feel really uncomfortable and you just don't like it. You just don't like it. I also kind of feel like this path that you're currently on, it has like the level of no, uh, the level of the unknown attached to it. And I also kind of feel like you don't necessarily like that either, that this path that you're currently on, it has a level of the unknown attached to it. You know, this path that you were on, um, you know, in the past, you didn't find yourself worried or even concerned about the level of the unknown. Like this is just you kind of living, you know, your best life is like the best way that I can describe what is I'm seeing here without, without worry, without fear, you know, is basically what, you know, I'm getting. I feel like you're walking a path that was very, very comfortable is basically what I'm getting. But now that you find yourself um, on a very uncomfortable path, there is an overall energy of you wanting to get off of that path and go back to this, you know, path that you were originally on where you were just kind of focusing on you and doing your thing. Tell me more about the uh, Queen of Cups. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw the Six of Pentacles, everything's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. I feel like you have someone by your side that has a tendency of constantly reassuring you time and time again. And whoever this person is that's by your side, that's constantly reassuring you time and time again, it could very well be a romantic interest. I'm kind of getting that strongly, to be completely honest, that it's a romantic interest that constantly finds themselves uh, reassuring you time and time again that, hey, like, everything's going to be okay. I love you. Like, I, 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 I'm in this, you know, for the long haul you know what i mean it has that type of feel to it yeah it has that type of feel to it tell me more about the three of swords okay tell me more about the three of swords um so we have the wheel of fortune and then we also have the four of cups out here with the seven of swords yeah and then we also have the uh, two of swords due to how uncomfortable this journey is it does cause you to want to self-sabotage the uh connection is kind of what i'm getting because i feel like it's a connection in your life that's making you feel very vulnerable very uncomfortable and i feel like the connection itself it's really scaring you a whole lot because your heart is really really in it um 
and it makes you feel really scared and really, really uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, there, there's times where you tend to kind of think to yourself, maybe I should just kind of run in the opposite direction of this relationship. And it's mainly because you don't like the way that this journey is essentially making you feel. It makes you feel really, really uncomfortable. And you don't necessarily like that. You know, I feel like this entire experience is actually helping you grow. Believe it or not, Scorpio, it's helping you grow. It's helping you grow. It may not feel that way and it may not seem that way, but I feel like it's definitely helping you grow. And I also kind of feel like it's helping you um, overcome your fears when it comes down to romantic relationships with people is kind of what I'm getting. You know, for the vast majority of you, prior to you meeting this person, you could have had like a massive fear of intimacy. Well, if you did have a massive fear of intimacy, that could also kind of contribute to why you feel the way that you feel now, as far as feeling really uncomfortable and scared and, and vulnerable, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like this journey that you're on, it's going to help you overcome, you know, your fears of you know, intimacy. I also kind of feel like a lot of healing is going to come out of this relationship. So the things that used to essentially trigger you before um, may not end up triggering you anymore throughout the course of your involvement with this person. Um, I just kind of see you growing and evolving quite a bit throughout the course of your involvement with this individual. But like I said, it may not feel like you're growing and evolving, um, but you definitely are. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune coming out here, that's kind of telling me that all of this is happening for you, not to you. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. And with the Wheel of Fortune coming out here, that's a very positive card if you think about it. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like a lot of good is going to come out of this entire situation. Even though things might feel really intense for you right now and really uncomfortable and really scary, you know, I feel like a lot of good is going to come out of this entire situation. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. I'm definitely getting that stronger that a lot of good is going to come out of this entire situation. You may not think that, you may not feel that way or even believe that, but I'm definitely getting that strongly. Nothing wanted to come out, but at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups. And then we also have the Nine of Swords, man, with the Five of Wands to the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this journey that you're currently on, it's not... It's definitely not a walk in the park. It's definitely not an easy journey. Um, you know, I feel like this journey that you're currently on, um, you know, it... It causes you a lot of stress. It causes you a lot of inner conflict. It causes you to feel really overwhelmed. It causes you to feel really scared and uncomfortable. But like I said, I feel like it's because you're facing a lot of things that um, you've been avoiding for quite some time, especially when it comes down to romantic relationships. So if you are someone you know, prior to meeting this person that had massive trust issues, well, you're going to face that within your relationship with this person. If you're somebody who had a massive fear of intimacy, you know, prior to meeting this person, you're going to face that within this relationship. You know, if you're somebody um, who has like, you know, abandonment issues, that's something that you're going to face throughout the course of your involvement with this person. So these things are going to be things that you're going to find yourself coming into contact with as far as like, you know, your fear of abandonment, your fear of intimacy, your trust issues. These are things that you're going to come into contact with. Um, but the only reason why, you know, all of this is coming up to the surface for you is for you to heal from it and overcome it. Um, and once you do heal from it and overcome it, you know, the things that used to trigger you are not going to trigger you anymore. The things that used to bother you are not going to bother you anymore. Um, I just kind of see a lot of good coming out of this entire situation but I understand you know because if I'm just kind of going based off of you and how you're looking at your situation it doesn't feel like this entire situation is beneficial at all for you because all you're feeling on your end is discomfort all you're feeling on your end is fear and stress and you know feeling extremely overwhelmed that's all you feel right um so I think that it's quite normal for you to sit there and think to yourself, yeah, I just don't see how this benefits me. I just, I don't, this is a very uncomfortable journey. I don't want to be on this fucking journey anymore. So I, I get it, but just know that all of this is happening for you, not to you. I feel like once spirit gets you to the other side and you see, you know, how much you've actually grown and changed and evolved as an individual, you're going to look back at this moment and you're going to be grateful that you went through this entire experience. Because it's going to help you heal from a lot and overcome a lot of things. Okay, let's look at your human, okay? How does this person currently view this relationship with Scorpio? Okay, so 
we have the judgment card we also have the justice card and then we also have the four sword you could be dealing with a libra strongly uh possibly a scorpio like yourself doesn't necessarily have to be the case the bottom of the deck we do have the ace of cups so chariot you could very well be dealing with somebody who's slightly older than you and the only reason why i say that is because the person that sits in the chariot is the emperor you're showing up as a queen of cups regardless of your gender male or female doesn't matter we all have masculine and feminine energy within us but yeah this person might be slightly older than you if they're not slightly older than you scorpio they just have more life experience than you do that's definitely a possibility but this person this person is very very um crystal clear i would say on you and what they want with you you know this relationship makes them feel the complete opposite of what you feel i'm going to be completely honest see this relationship with you makes them feel safe it makes them feel secure um i also feel like this person has a lot of trust when it comes down to you i don't feel like you fully trust them especially when it comes down to your heart but if there's one thing that i will say is that this person really does fully trust you especially with their heart but yeah this relationship it makes them feel good it makes them feel safe it makes them feel secure it makes them feel wanted it makes them feel appreciated it makes them feel seen um i just feel like this relationship provides them uh with a lot that they're essentially looking for within a relationship but they also come off to me um, as somebody who's very dead set on you and what they want here with you um, I kind of feel like also too it didn't necessarily take this person too long to realize that you are what they want so there's a huge possibility that they could have rushed things with you in the very beginning um, because it didn't really take them too long to realize that you possess a lot they're actually looking for uh, within a person but no complaints coming from this person whatsoever um, how does this person currently feel they're also very big on taking chances, especially when it comes down to love. You, on the other hand, you don't strike me as a type of person that's very big on taking chances, especially when it comes down to love. But you're definitely dealing with somebody who's very big on taking chances when it comes down to love. Okay. All right. So we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we also have the... Uh, power out here the bottom of the deck we do have the magician and then we also have the ace of cups i also kind of feel like the fact that this person is like rushing things here within this dynamic that they share with you might also kind of add to like your discomfort is kind of what i'm getting you know this is somebody who wants to like hurry up and like manifest in and create the life that they've essentially always wanted with you from the start is kind of what i'm getting um so i do kind of feel like by them rushing things with you that might make you feel a little bit you know uncomfortable and on edge is kind of what i'm getting um but i feel like this person is just so ready to like start you know manifesting creating the life that they want um with you tell me more about the tower oh that's sweet that's really sweet let's focus on um their energy prior to them even meeting you let's do that i think that this is super sweet you know i feel like prior to this person meeting you they were very depressed they're very depressed. They didn't really have a lot to look forward to. There's also an overall energy of them essentially uh, telling themselves, I'm just going to be single for the rest of my life. I'm never going to find the perfect person for me. You know, I guess I'm just going to be single for the rest of my life. It's as if this person was feeling like love is just not in the cards for them. It, it is kind of what I'm getting. Um, I'm kind of getting an overall energy of them feeling really depressed, but very, very lonely. Very, very lonely very very lonely very very lonely i keep getting that off of this person and i feel bad for this person because i feel like prior to like meeting you they didn't have shit to look forward to you know what i mean like they didn't have shit to look forward to and now they feel like they have a lot to look forward to and i kind of feel like that's kind of why they might be in a little bit of a rush when it comes down to you and the relationship that they share with you it's like let's be together let's do this let's do that let's do this let's do that you know what i mean because as far as they're concerned they didn't necessarily feel like they would ever even experience this again as far as like love is concerned so the fact that they're experiencing love 
um, something that they never thought that they would honestly experience ever again. Like, yeah, they want to fucking do it all with you and they want to fucking have it all with you, to be honest. Um, I just feel like you really did get this person out of a dark place, you know? And I feel like they're very fortunate and, and lucky to, um, have you in this relationship that they, uh, share with you. Tell me more about the, uh, sun. Yeah, I just, I feel like the moment that you walked into this person's life, like, everything just drastically changed, but it drastically changed for the better for them. Um, it's like the moment they just, yeah, it's like the moment they started talking to you, you know, I feel like it just instantly changed absolutely everything for this person. There's a huge possibility that the two of you could have met one another online because I'm kind of getting like a connection that's starting with distance involved, but that's not going to apply for everybody out there. But um, I feel like the moment they started talking to you, it just like instantly changed everything for them, but in a really, really good way, not in a negative way, in a really, really good way. Um, you know, this is also somebody who comes off to me as somebody who truly does enjoy being around you um, and your presence. I'm also kind of getting that as well. Um I also kind of feel too, and keep in mind, we're working with time here and time is fluid. So this could be something that you've already kind of experienced with this person. You might find yourself experiencing with this person. Um, you know, I feel like prior, I'll say that prior to this person meeting you, um, you know, I feel like they hung out with like a lot of family members, a lot of friends, but now that they're talking to you, now that they're involved with you, I kind of see them wanting to spend more time with you than like their family members and their friends. Um, cause I am definitely getting that strongly now, now that this person's involved with you and they're dealing with you, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, these friends of theirs still want to hang out with them and spend time with them. And these family members of theirs still want to, you know, see them and hang out with them and spend time with them. But I feel like they're always going to choose spending time with you over absolutely everyone else, which is kind of making me feel like, yo, this person, like they, they really do have you up on a fucking pedestal. It's not even funny. Like you come before their family, you come before, you know, their friends Like you, you come before all these people, all these other people come last, you come first. Um, I'm also kind of getting like a homebody vibe off of this person. So they could very well be a little bit of a homebody. I am definitely getting that, um, strongly. I am definitely getting that strongly. You know, I feel like their relationship with you is just so different from their previous relationship. I feel like their previous relationship, you know, they were with someone that they couldn't even fucking stand to be around uh, for a long period of time. With you, they don't have that issue. Like, they could spend all freaking day with you, all freaking week with you, all freaking month with you, all freaking year with you, and they would never get tired and or bored of you. But there was somebody that they were dealing with prior to you that they couldn't freaking stand. Like, they couldn't freaking stand to even be around. It's like every time they were in this person's presence, they were just like, oh my God, like, let me get away from this person. Like, it has that type of feel to it. But like with you, they don't have that issue whatsoever. They actually enjoy your company. They actually prefer to spend time with you than anybody else, to be completely honest, because they enjoy your company. They love being around you and they love your energy. Okay, well, that's sweet. Okay, let's keep going. How does Scorpio... Currently feel... Okay, Scorpio. So, we have the Two of Cups. We got the Six of Swords. And then we also have the um, Ten of Swords out here. <clears throat> okay. So, in regards to how you're feeling... You know, uh, I feel like you have your good and your bad days is like the best way that I can describe it as I'm seeing here within this relationship. There's days where you're very open and receptive to this relationship and you don't find yourself, you know, worried or concerned about the, but what if this happens one day and what if that happens one day? Um, you know, you just kind of find yourself enjoying the connection and enjoying the moment and living in the present moment. But then there's days where you get into your head, you know, about this relationship and you start thinking the worst and you start thinking, oh man, like what if I end up getting hurt by this person? What if I end up getting disappointed by this person? If I do get hurt by this person, I don't know how I'm going to overcome this. And I don't know how I'm going to bounce back from this. If I do get hurt from this person, I feel like you're really in love with this person, this person that you're, um, 
currently connecting with i feel like you're really really in love with this person like your heart truly is in it and i feel like that does scare the shit out of you to be completely honest you know there's a huge possibility that you've never felt this strongly about a person before um and if you never felt this strongly about a person before this could very well represent a brand new beginning um and an experience for you um and that in itself could be very scary you know because you know, the new really does scare some people sometimes. Um, so, you know, that could also be adding on to why you feel so uncomfortable uh, within this relationship. But I feel like you're trying. You know what I mean? Your heart is to see this relationship through. You know, I, I feel like you have your good days. And I also kind of feel like you have your bad days, especially when you get into your head um, about, you know, your relationship with this person. The, but what if this happens? And what if that happens? Um, but let's jump back over to your person. Let's see how they're currently feeling about this relationship. Actually, didn't I read check? I sure did. Let's ask one more time. How do they feel about this relationship? Jesus Christ. Jesus. All right. Look at this. So we have the strength card and then we also have the uh, chariot. Then we have the ace of wands that came out yet again with the knight of wands to the two of pentacles. They're very crystal clear on you and what they want with you. It's like you're all they see. You're all they want. You know what I mean? Um, now for those of you who do not know this, the person that actually sits in the chariot is the emperor and the person that's actually in the strength card is the empress, making it a true pair situation here between you and this individual, uh, that you currently find yourself connecting with. I feel like that's something that you guys actually have in common. I feel like you guys are very like, how do I say this? How do I say this? Because I want to say that you guys are very clingy with one another, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like you hate being away from them and they hate being away from you. You know, I feel like when you're away from them, you kind of feel like a little bit out of place. And when they're away from you, they kind of feel a little bit out of place as well as kind of what I'm getting. So there's a huge possibility that you guys could very well be extremely clingy. Um, I am definitely getting that strongly. I don't know. There's something about the two of you being like apart from one another that makes you guys feel like weird and like out of place is kind of what I'm getting. I just kind of feel like this is somebody who really does love being around you and you're somebody who loves being around them. So during the times where you guys are not um, around one another, y'all just feel fucking weird and out of place. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like with you specifically with you and this person's far away from you, um, that could very well be when you tend to kind of get in your head the most when this person's far away from you. That's definitely a possibility. But when this person's in your presence, you know, you feel whole and complete and at peace. But when they're far away from you, a lot of you might find yourself really, really getting into your head and constantly anticipating and expecting and thinking the worst. That's definitely a possibility. But I like this person. I do. I like this person that you're with. You know, they come off to me as somebody who's very serious about you. They come off to me as somebody who has good intentions when it comes down to you. I like the fact that you are literally all they see. You are literally all they want, which is something that I really like. And it's also something that I have a lot of respect for. You know, this is somebody who feels very drawn to you and your overall energy. Um, you know, they're very crystal clear on who they want and what they want. Um, so, I mean, I like this person. I really do like this person a whole lot for you. I do. I like this person a lot. Um... Dum, 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 dum. sorry don't mind me sometimes <laughs> sometimes i just make weird sound effects maybe i was like a fucking dj in my past life or something anyways actions the scorpio take towards this person or moving forward okay hmm Got the page of swords, we got the moon, and then we also have the tower. Again, what's adding to your adding on to your discomfort is a level of the unknown. We got the moon out here. And the but what if this happens or what if that happens? Because the moon for me as a reader is the what what if card, the what if this happens, or what if that happens card. Um you know what's interesting, Scorpio, is that I feel like um you have this really, really bad habit. Of constantly anticipating and expecting the worst when it comes down to this person why can't this entire situation turn out better than you can imagine like why does it have to turn you know eventually into something god awful like why does it why why, why can't this turn out better than you can imagine you know what i mean 
why can't it? You know, why does it have to be uh, a situation where, you know, this entire situation is just going to eventually blow up in your face and, and, and leave you extremely hurt and disappointed? Like, but why? Like, why? Why does it have to turn out that way? Why do you have to think it it's constantly going to turn out that way? Like, why can't it turn out amazing in the end? You know what I mean? Because that's, you know, that's, I, I get it that this entire situation can totally backfire in your face and that's a possibility, but it's also a possibility that this could turn out better than you could imagine. But it kind of looks like you tend to obsess more over the, but what if this blows up in my face? And, you know, how am I going to overcome this if it does? And how am I going to bounce back from this, you know, if this does blow up in my face? Like, you tend to obsess over that, you know, as far as the negative is, is concerned, and you tend to fixate on the negative far more than you do the positive. So that's why I'm like, I don't understand. Like, why can't this turn out better than you could essentially imagine? Like, why can't it? Why does it have to be, like, this god-awful thing that's eventually going to happen to you? You know what I mean? And by the way, this is not stemming from a place of, I know this is going to blow up in my face. I know that this is you know, going to leave me extremely hurt and disappointed in the end. It's not coming from a place of, I know it's coming from a place of, well, I think this might happen to me. And I think that might happen to me. And I think that that might also happen to me, you know, especially with the moon coming out here, you know, this is you assuming that this could happen to you. This could end up happening to you as well. You know, this is not coming from a place of, I know on a soul level, I know on an intuitive level, this is what's going to happen to me. This is going to blow up in my face. You know what I mean? Um, it's not coming from your intuition, you know, whatsoever. This is coming from a place of, I think this is going to end up happening to me. So, you know, let me not get too excited with this person. Let me not get too attached. Let me not get too invested. Let me not get too excited over here because I think this is what's going to happen to me in the end, you know, with this person that I'm just going to end up getting hurt and disappointed. So, you know, let me not get too attached. Let me not get too excited. Let me not get too hopeful here, you know. Um, okay, what actions will this person take? towards Scorpio or moving forward. <clears throat> okay. We got the Eight of Wands. We got the Seven of Pentacles. And then we also have the... Um, it's like this person constantly finds themselves having to talk you off that, that, that ledge of I just think you're out to get me I just hear I just feel like you're here to hurt me I just feel like you're here to betray me it's like this person has to constantly talk you off that ledge time and time and time and time and time and time again which is kind of making me feel like this right here is a part of your like norm it's a part of like your norm um what I mean by that is what I mean by that is it's 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 not normal for you to not think the worst when it comes down to this person. It's not normal for you to not think the worst here when it comes down to this person. It's not normal. Um how do I how do I explain what you're doing here? How do I explain what you're doing here? Um I think I said this to you or I said this to somebody else. I feel like you've um You've created a habit, right, um, where, you know, every Monday you think nothing but the best, right, when it comes down to this person, your relationship with this person. And then every, when every Tuesday comes around, you know, you find yourself taking that day to think the worst and anticipate the worst and expect the worst when it comes down to this person. And then Wednesday comes around. Um, and then, you know, you find yourself thinking nothing but positive things when it comes down to this person and being open and receptive to what you share here with this person. Then, boom, Thursday comes around. And then you kind of find yourself, right, thinking nothing but the worst and anticipating nothing but the worst when it comes down to this person. And you've been doing that so fucking much Scorpio that you've created a habit so because you've created a habit this has been um this has I'm sorry become a part of your norm okay this has become a part of your norm as far as anticipating and expecting the worst and thinking the worst when it comes out to this person you've created a habit um is kind of what I'm getting you know so um 
just like it takes, you know, 45 days to create a habit, it takes 45 days to break a habit. Um, so this constant, you know, every Tuesday, you know, every Thursday, you know, every Saturday that goes by and you take those days to constantly anticipate and expect the worst. Those are things that you have to stop doing. Those are things that you need to um, break out of because you've already created a habit here. This is a part of your norm. This is literally a part of your norm, taking time out of the week to anticipate and expect and think the worst when it comes down to this person because it's a part of your norm. Um, you're training your mind to operate this way, basically. You're training your mind that every Tuesday we're going to think about, we're going to think the worst when it comes down to this person. Um, and, you know, every Thursday we're going to sit back and anticipate and expect the worst when it comes down to this person. Every Saturday we're going to sit back and we're going to anticipate and expect the worst from this person. It's like, it, it, it's, it's, it's like you've trained your, 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 your brain to operate from this place, to think these things. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, every damn Saturday. You know what I mean? You've trained your mind to think this way, to operate this way, to function this way. Um, and it's just a matter of you breaking that habit that you've actually created unknowingly is basically what I'm getting. Um, because I kind of feel like this person has to keep doing this with you. Like they have to keep talking you off this ledge like, yo, like, Honey, you're kind of tripping right now. Okay, let's talk about this. You're kind of tripping right now. And I like this damn person. Whoever, the, whoever this person is, I fucking like them. Because I feel like this person has the ability to like get through to you. You know what I mean? Um, and, and talk you, you know, down, you know, from this ledge of, I just think this is going to happen. I just think you're doing this. And I just think you're doing that. Like they honestly have like the, the power and the ability and the patience to like sit there and tell you like, honey, like you're overthinking things or honey, like you're tripping right now. You know what I mean? Um, with the four of wands to the, um, seven of wands to the five of swords to the, uh, devil coming out here this is like a this is like a pattern that i'm kind of seeing here it's like once they talk you off that ledge you go back to feeling like okay they love me they mean well they're not out to get me and then the next thing you know it's like you're you're back at it thinking the worst when it comes down to this person but it's because you've trained your mind to operate this this way you know what i mean you've trained your mind to operate this way unknowingly unknowingly it's like with me right like every damn morning I have to go and get um coffee every fucking morning I have to go and get coffee every damn morning religiously I have to go get coffee and the days that I don't get coffee it's like it's like my whole freaking day is fucking ruined you know what I mean when in actuality it's not you know what I mean but it just because if I don't go and get coffee, I'm just like, oh my God, what do I do with my life? Like, how am I going to function today? You know what I mean? Um, but that's just a pattern. You know what I mean? That I've essentially created every morning I get dressed, get ready. And then I go get my coffee. You know what I mean? And then I go work. You know what I mean? That's just my routine. That's just been a routine that I've had for years. Um, so there's been times where, you know, I'm, I'm like feeling sick for perfect example and I don't want to go and get coffee. You know what I mean? Like my whole day goes to shit because I didn't wake up that morning, get dressed and go get my damn coffee. You know what I mean? It's just for me to wake up in the morning and not go get coffee is just so out of my norm. It's not even freaking funny. And if I don't get up and get that freaking coffee, I feel like my whole freaking day is ruined because that has just been a part of my routine for so many freaking years. So to have to break that, you know, which I have tried to break that, like as far as cutting down on coffee is concerned, and it was a fucking struggle, man. It was a damn struggle. I was getting headaches left and right. Like, I did not feel motivated um, to do absolutely anything. Like, I was just like, oh, my God. Like, my day is already going to shit. And it just started. Like, so when you break out of this habit of constantly anticipating and expecting the worst, it's going to be a struggle for you because you're training your brain to not think these things anymore or, or operate from this place anymore. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a struggle, just like it was a struggle for me um, to cut down on coffee. You know what I mean? You just need to cut down on this whole constantly anticipating and expecting the worst. But, you know, again, it takes 45 days to create a habit and it takes 45 days to break a habit. Um, so don't anticipate or expect 
um, yourself to just snap out of it just like that because it's not going to play out that way. It's just not going to play out that way. And like I said, for me, for a perfect example, when I was trying to cut back on coffee, like, you know, as like a week went by, I was struggling. I was struggling really bad. I had headaches. Um, I just, I didn't feel motivated to do shit, to be completely honest. I didn't want to do anything. Um, but I, but I forced myself to, you know, see it through to be completely honest um but there will be times where i will wake up get dressed you know and, and go and you know get in my car and go get some coffee um because i'm just so used to doing that that my body can do it better than i can to be completely honest um to the point where i don't even have to put too much thought into it it's just like i wake up and that's just my routine and i get up and i go um but to have to stop myself from getting in my freaking vehicle and going to go pick up coffee was a fucking challenge but again it's because i've been doing it for so many freaking years to stop doing something that i've been doing for years it's just kind of hard you know what i mean but eventually i snapped out of it you know what i mean and eventually you will too so just know that there's going to be times where you're going to have to check yourself because at this point you know your brain knows that every fucking Tuesday and every fucking Thursday and every fucking Saturday, we're going to take these days out to think and anticipate the worst when it comes down to this person. Your brain is already um, trained to think that way on those days, right? So when those days do come, you know what I mean? Um, expect for your brain to start anticipating and expecting and thinking the worst when it comes down to this person because you've already trained your brain to think that way um and and when that does happen you need to check yourself and be like oh no we ain't gonna think about this today uh because we're gonna we gotta do this we gotta do that i don't have time for that you know what i mean like you need to really check yourself just like i had to check myself like uh, -uh no we ain't getting in this damn car and we're not gonna go and get fucking coffee we're gonna stay here and we're gonna work you know what i mean like you gotta check yourself um and, and trust me you know, it's going to be one hell of a journey. It's going to take a good 45 days. But once you move past that, like, you're going to be good. You're going to have far more peace of mind um, than you do now. I think that grounding would definitely benefit you quite a bit. Um, I'm definitely getting that strongly. That grounding will definitely um, help you out quite a bit. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say, shall we? So we have expressed your love, very similar to the Eight of Wands uh, for me as a reader. You know, I feel like um, this is Spirit's way of encouraging you to see this entire situation through. But it does kind of require you to stop doing this here. So this this whole constantly anticipating and expecting the worst and thinking the worst when it comes on to this person, that shit has to stop. That We're not doing that no more, Scorpio. You know, it's going to take 45 days for you to stop thinking this way. It's going to take 45 days for you to train your brain to not think these things anymore. Um, but be patient with yourself throughout these 45 days because, again, it's going to take some time and you're going to have to check yourself along the way. But as far as you constantly thinking and anticipating and expecting the worst, those those days are freaking over. You're, you're not living your life this way. I, I said this in somebody's reading. I don't know who it was, but you get to pick and choose how you want to show up in this relationship. You could show up like this and be open and receptive and you know just just trust the fact that you have a good thing or you could sit there in this marriage in this relationship and constantly anticipate and expect the worst and and, and be terrified in the process of it all you get to pick and choose how you want to show up in this relationship but i highly advise you guys to not continue to operate from this place because you're worrying yourself to death over somebody um, who clearly loves you and, and, and clearly is very, very serious about you. So you're basically wasting your time, you know, taking time out of your day every Tuesday, you know, <clears throat> every um, Thursday, every Saturday to sit back and anticipate and expect the worst when you don't have anything to worry about. This is you literally wasting your own time and, and worrying yourself to death for no freaking reason. So yeah, these days are over. We're, you're not doing that no more. Like you're going to make it a priority to train your mind to stop doing this because you're not living life like this anymore you're going to live a life of peace with this person and you're going to make it a priority to make sure that you start living a life of peace and you start walking by you know faith in this relationship and not fear anymore those days are over okay so spirit is encouraging you to see this entire situation through have trust and faith look at the, the message behind this we have trust the situation is calling for you to have faith there's such a lack of faith on your behalf it's not even funny there is no more walking 
in this relationship um, in fear anymore. You're not doing that anymore. Those days are over. You had your fun. I'm pretty sure you've been doing this way more for 45 days because you've already created a habit here. And it takes 45 days to create a habit. So you've been doing this for more than 45 days. We're not doing that no more. You're going to take these, these next 45 days to not think this way anymore or operate from this place anymore. And that's what you're going to do moving forward, okay? Because you're not going to continue to... To, to live this way you're not you deserve to live a life of peace and you deserve to have peace of mind within this relationship and obtaining peace of mind within this relationship is definitely possible but you got to play your part um to start living a life of peace within this dynamic that you share with this person and you're going to start walking by faith not by fear because you've been walking in this marriage and this relationship with a boatload of fear those days are over then we have engagement your love life is ascending to higher level of commitment very similar to the hierophant um, you have somebody who's just as committed and devoted as you are in your life. Accept that already. This whole, but, 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 milagros, but what if this, no, 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 we're not doing that no more. You had your fun. You, you had your time every Tuesday, every, um, every Thursday, every Saturday to do this. You're not doing that no more. You're not doing that no more. You're not doing that no more. You're going to make it your mission and your priority to not continue to live a life this way. And that's what you're going to do moving forward. Because all of this freaking out and overthinking things and constantly anticipating and expecting the worst over somebody who's serious about you. No, you're wasting your time and you're driving yourself crazy and you're, you know, affecting your own mental health by even entertaining these negative thoughts over somebody who's serious about you. No, we're not doing that no more. Th those days are over. You're, you're going to make your mission, your priority to get right. And like I said, it's going to take 45 days, but I truly believe that if you apply yourself, you could be able to start living a life of peace with this person in no time. You just got to apply yourself. All right. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.